How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV, and today we're watching episode five, Concealment, of season two of Made Abyss. Uh, last episode kind of ended on a weird note. It wasn't really a cliffhanger as much as it was like, here's a lot of crazy things going on all in the last like couple minutes of the show. Uh, and, and just, it was a real just interesting bit of just stuff going on right at the end. There's a lot of questions. I mean, you have Belloff who is this crystal bone snake thing. You have like Mitty who is back question mark. And you have Vueco who is still Vueco somehow, but also is the reason for this balancing or at least part of the balancing. Uh, I don't know exactly how uh i don't know what happened to these people and that's honestly what we're gonna find out so hopefully we find out in this episode so let's hop in yeah obviously we are picking off picking up right where we left off yeah i mean she's tangible she's there oh my god so they're all still conscious somehow they're all there they're all Mentally, I think there, which is the weird part. No way he got lost. He is, well, to be fair, actually, that makes sense. He has no idea where she took him. He couldn't see a single thing. Oh, what the? What are those little slug rabbit things? What the fuck? I love the this is a con. Ooh! Way to make me all shit my pants. Holy shit! Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta go. Stop asking so many questions, bro. They look at that thing. That's gonna laser you or whatever it does. It's gonna step on you. How fast is this thing, by the way? Oh my god. Ooh, it knows. Ooh, it spits that out. Oh, that's the thing that was with um, Fapta. Forgot. Almost forgot her name. Mm. Who is this one? So we have everybody accounted for. Who is this? Is this like a a mech that is combined with like the last surviving members? Get out of here. You gotta go. You gotta go, dude. What is what does that mean? Yo, he's asking real questions. He's like, if you can talk and explain things, literally just tell me how, tell me what's going on. This thing's, this thing's cool. It's like, it really is like a different, like a Maiden Abyss version of Big Daddy from Bioshock. Hopefully, I think I mentioned that the last episode. I hope it made sense or people understood what I was talking about. Ooh. Uh, this dude's got instinct. Holy shit. Yeah, so this, they know that he's, he needs to get restored somehow, but how does he, yeah, how does he do that? Oh, he's just a robot too. <gasps> There was way more of them. Oh my god, that must be fucking terrible. What do you call it? It's almost like someone locked them per lair. Which it's very weird to how that even would work. It's like like a death counter almost. Oh the village is over there, it's just way down. What is Wazukyan gonna say? <laughs> Wazukyan still is Wazukyan. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. It looks like that and somehow still chilling. Oh, they're the OGs. Yeah, exactly. They're the they're the leaders that brought all these people here. But obviously, there's more. You know, there's more to it now. Uh, <laughs> it's like his version of a high five. Oh my god, what, like what? Is she using a living creature to clean? Is that, is that how that works? 
Oh, that actually works. That's smart. Her, yeah, her trying to figure out the language is very important now. 40% to request something special and stimulus? What are you teaching her? <laughs> what are you teaching her? Konbos. Interesting. Nene. Cool. Alright, so she's just, this is the learning, learning the language arc. Cool, because that's going to definitely come into into play later. Ma's just a dog? What is, what's going on? What? <laughs> oh, Mania. The ripples on the back of Mania. Oh, no. Get squeezed too much. <laughs> oh, no. At the edge of this village. Oh. The sacrifice hole? What the fuck? She is so fierce to be doing this shit by herself, not to mention, like... Interesting, but they're not. That's not... Why is Ma coming? Why is Ma coming? If everybody feels bad, why would you come, bro? What are you doing? She's gonna watch this thing turn into, a, like, a squid or something. Actually, that's a great... That's a great point. Why does she go down not realizing or not knowing for sure that she can go back up? What the fuck are you doing? I fear for her sometimes. There's something in the water stuff. Oh shit, is she gonna find Weko? Well, yeah, they're not doing anything to you because, you know, it's fine. Then you're not they're not balancing you because you know you have haven't hurt anything of, of value Weko, Weko is down here somewhere obviously Where though and what else she can do is the, the question She there's no way she's just bound to this one spot, right? Oh I don't feel good Yo, I didn't think, I did not think this was happening so quickly. She's just here with her now. Oh, I still look human? Oh. Oh, dude. What did she do? Why is she here? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it, okay, I was gonna say. I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's a different person? Like, no way. Uh. Wow. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about this stuff and she's here? Uh. How do you, how does, why does she feel weird about it? Uh-oh. Oh, one of them. She probably knows where Nanachi is, but I don't think she knows where, uh, what do you call it? You know. I don't think she knows where Reg is. The, well, yeah. Duh. I can imagine that the village is cursed. She has something to do with it? What? Is that Fapta? Oh, it's not even... She didn't even want this to happen? Yeah, it's a place of respite for these hollow people. These hollow things that get stuck down here. Granted, again, none of these people know what's... I don't know, They, I, nobody knows what their backstories are, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, what is up with Ma? Oh! What? Huh. Oh. oh my god, she just took that shit off. I thought there was gonna be more to it. No. Is it just gonna like wrap around her like afterwards or something? Unrelenting agony? <laughs> She just talks so normal. Kind of weird. Just hop on my back. Oh. They're just bringing her up. Oh my god, it's adorable. 
Why? So technically, I mean, if, if her adopted daughter is the princess, then she's totally like the queen. Do you have clothes for me to put on? Oh, let's go. She's fitted up. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Why does she look like that? I like it though, but it's weird. What is the luring? Oh god. What? There's so many things in this village. Holy shit. What? Oh, Bella. That's yeah, so she knows where Nana she is. I wonder if it's gonna be different. That's so weird though, because obviously she seemed to have a pretty good connection with Beloff, and then Wazukian was just kinda whatever, but that is nuts. Ooh, that's that's a whole that's a real living thing as a door. Wait, what? What? What's happening? What is why is he? Bella front. Huh? Oh my god, this thing is Bella is so cool. Holy shit. Oh my god, why does she have a blank on her? Is she okay? What? What? To buy Midi gave up themselves? Well, yes, Midi is very precious to her, but I didn't know that she was selling her soul to get back to be back with Midi. Ooh, Midi who doesn't disappear no matter what. What? Dude, what? Why? Why must Nanachi continue to suffer? No. Oh yeah. So she knows about Minnie. Oh, don't do it. Wow. You're trying to take both of them? Oh! Oh! oh. This motherfucker had Minnie? I think I think he did mention that, but I forgot that that's. Oh my! F what the fuck? I did not know. I didn't think this was happening at all. What did he give him? Did he give him like Prushka somehow? Like what? Wait. What the fuck? Ugh. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus Christ. No, yeah, this is a losing battle. This is a losing battle. All the equipment you have now? <laughs> it was true, I was too greedy. Choose one of the following things. What the fuck is wrong with him? Fuck no! Fucking choose, choose nothing! Choose, get the fuck out of there! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Whoa. What is happening? Oh my god. Okay, first of all, can Reko do anything? Cause like, what the fuck? Um, can why is Belov such a piece of shit? But not really, cause he's he's just arguing for like same value. It's not a G that fucked up to begin with, but the No, actually, no, it's Sovereign of the Dawn, it's Bodrude's fault. Even though he's fucking cool, this man's already- uh, he's still a part of season 2 when he's- was he's not even here anymore. To have Midi still, and then copy Midi to keep using Midi for like what? So he can absorb her? Like her essence? Her what? Like what is so important about Midi that this is still happening and that we're still using Midi in some sense? Um, and that Nanachi just gave up for- gave up everything for her. Which, I mean... 
Maybe was forced to give up everything for Nanachi, but she didn't know that. You know what I mean? It's it's really they were forced to do it. They could have had no other choice. So I mean, for her to just give up now, kind of is tough. It's tough. And like obviously, this leads Rico to be in this fucking predicament of hey, you know, lose any potential like ability to defend yourself become a burden on Nanachi and, and Reg and just be the most difficult thing to deal with in the abyss or die and you can get your friend back but it won't matter you'll get your friend back but then you're you're dead so who cares I don't know how she's supposed to I mean she's gonna have to have use Weko's help like Weko's definitely like in the back like peeking over watching because like how how there's that's fucked up how how else is she going to like get her back you know I can't, I don't know, I can't imagine it working out that way. Hopefully it does, that she can get her back in some way, but like, it is it is a very, very interesting set of rules that we have within this village. And there's a very interesting question of how it came to be in the first place, considering Weko was not in support of it. You know what I mean? If Weko was so not in support of it, and then Fapta lives outside of it, um... And she doesn't want to go into it. She and the robot friend that she has probably, at least her specifically, resent the village and the people in there for taking her away from her adoptive mother. Um, and because of that, Iveco kind of always had this self-confidence that was just not high. It was just kind of following whatever other people said. And... It was probably the first time she stood up for herself or stood up for her and the fam her family, you know, her new family, and like it it did not end up going well. Wazukian's clearly whatever he is, he is now, at least he's able to freely like live. But so far we haven't seen him have the ability to do anything really important. He just looks cool. But yeah, I mean I don't like I'm trying to take all of it in. It, it's obviously kind of a lot. It's actually gotten better. I'm like picking more up now. I use editing a lot often to like go back and like pay attention more because I'm like slowly taking things apart. And it's easier to kind of get everything if I miss something. Um, but it is just a lot of like, it is a show you really do have to pay attention to because there is a ton of moving parts to it. Obviously, I mean the abyss is very very mysterious and, and there it has its own set of rules. So you kind of have to learn how to move about this like space and to have this village have its own set of rules that you now have to try and figure out is is interesting because obviously we had Ma like in agonizing pain and it might managed to be okay. Again, Rico managed to get back up and like bring Vueco out and somehow all of that was fine. The idea that that worked so easily is weird. But also, I'm sure it'll have a meaning because I'm sure Weko can be in this conversation in the next episode, probably. Because she, I think, understands the true value or worth of a, of a human child, considering she had that done in the beginning. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification button too. That way you know every time I post a Main Abyss video, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I have other videos in between, so please stick around and look for those. I will catch you guys next time and hopefully, hopefully, we get a little bit more of knowing what's going on because so far everything is, it just feels like it's getting slowly worse and it's, it's nuts. It's insane. Uh, this show is awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys. See ya. Peace.